We are back. The viewers, currently Kuwait has witnessed a development in the construction infrastructure. Yes, indeed. And now we will speak about that in details, Farid. So how about we welcome our dear guest, engineer Bassam Hamad, a principal electrical and infrastructure engineer and i am really happy to have two of the engineers here in the studio oh, with me no Come actually morning, he's, engineer. He's, he's the guest and he's the main uh, engineer uh, engineer bassam mahmoud yes. uh, first of all uh, we were you know chit chatting yes. earlier about the difference between electronics engineering and electrical yeah so in, in a plain word for the average viewer to well, understand uh, for this one, yeah. uh, first of all, I thank you for having me here. Good morning. It's a nice uh, weather outside, actually. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, for this one, I, as, uh, as I told you, the electrical is mainly for the large buildings, construction, mm -hmm. and outside. Mm -hmm. The electronics is for the small de devices. Small devices. Yeah. And as I told you, as a summary to, mm -hmm. to inform someone who doesn't mm -hmm. know uh, anything about that, mm -hmm. without electrical, electronics doesn't work. Yeah. Absolutely. Without electronics, you may not automatically be able to control electrical. Mm -hmm. yes. So this is in summary, and uh, that's they how are connected to each yeah. other. So yeah. one will will not work without the other. No way. Absolutely, it's absolutely. Impossible. Could you tell us uh, about yourself, engineer? Uh, okay, uh, I am Bassam and Mahmoud. You know how long you've been living in Kuwait? Yeah, uh, I am Bassam Mahmoud, mm -hmm. electrical infrastructure engineer in uh, Dar as such international consultants. Mm -hmm. Married, I have four kids, Masha daughter Allah. and three boys. Wow. God bless them. Not boys, sons, because they were... Men, <laughs> now it's yeah, men. men. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, two of them are married. Mashallah. Mashallah. Uh, alhamdulillah. Uh, I am here 54 years in Kuwait. Mashallah. Uh, you could say 48 if you remove that study time outside mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. these things. Uh, in the field of electrical engineering, yes. whether it's uh, in the work field and infrastructure and design, you would say about 34 years in total and 29 years in Kuwait Mashallah. because I did many Mashallah. in the Gulf region, mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia and mm -hmm. Qatar, and, but mainly it's all Kuwait here. That's, uh, that's, uh, you are an expert, I can say. Uh, Nobody himself. judges himself, <laughs> 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 you do that. Well, that is really great. Yeah, I know that you. the first question my colleague Farid asked you, what about the difference between electrical and uh, I think the other electronics. is electronics. electronics. Uh, so what make you choose electrical engineers instead mm -hmm. of the electronics? Uh, no, it's actually, this is uh, when I was a, a boy, let's say, mm -hmm. yes. a teenager, actually mm -hmm. my mother, she saw that I'm good in electrical things. Mm -hmm. okay, I yeah, used nice. to fix like, things. Uh, yeah, fix uh, the light anything. Okay. Yeah. And when I used to see the people, the laborers laying the cables in the ground uh -huh. and fixing the transformers, mm -hmm. I loved it. In 1979, when I was watching, maybe this mm -hmm. is what I think triggered the thing: uh, the uh, football match between Kuwait and Iraq. Yes power supply went off in our area. In 1979, I think, Farid, that oh. was something. And I, at that time, Kuwait was losing 2-0, and I didn't see it. So okay. it ended up to be 3-2 after that to Kuwait. So During that, that no power. So no I decided <laughs> to, do, to be the part of that one. And I asked my father, is it beneficial or something? Yeah, he said, it, it, it's good to, when you work, to be uh, an electrical engineer. Mm -hmm. So I went to the power section. That's really and it's, nice. it's random. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, so, so now, we, w I've given uh, the information that, you know, you've been working since uh, the uh, late 70s. And no, it's 85. 85, first 85, time. 85 yeah. so let's say beginning of 80s. You've been uh, working for a long time yeah. uh, in Jibba South. Yes. So what, right, uh, let's say 40 years? 40 36 years. 36 yeah. years. Uh, have you published anything in uh, particular? Yeah, I, I did a research about environmental engineering okay. and infrastructure okay. for the sewage treatment plants. Uh -huh. The sewage treatment plants, you have to know that they produce dangerous uh, gases. gases. Yes. Absolutely, so methanol and stuff. Methanol and H2S, which H2S, is uh, yeah. uh, which hydrogen is sulfide. Yeah. Yes. 
whether it's inflammable or explosive, yeah. or even dangerous to people. Yeah. I did that with the Environmental Association in the United States, and mm -hmm. I did that. Uh, basically, this is the one. Uh, b because when you are busy with those sorts of projects, yes. mm -hmm. you don't have time. But I did advance in studying other things like the solar energy, oh, uh, solar. Yeah. environment, those things. But I concentrate on my work because it takes a lot of time. Nice. When you have a family and Absolutely. you have Absolutely. Yeah. Managing that, yeah. managing yeah. time. That's you really have hard. to give them. Yeah, exactly. Plus, you need also time for yourself. That's right. Exactly. For sure. You have to have this fun sometimes. <laughs> Many times. <laughs> well, I think this is fun to, to manage your, your time between work as well as your family, as well as yourself yes. and your hobbies and what you love. And I know that your passion is uh, in that engineering yes. and doing all that. And I know that you have really participated in Jabber Causeway infrastructure. Yes. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Well, when uh, Dar as such, they asked me to be the electrical engineer in, the, in that project. It was actually, it's a lifetime project that you will never see it again. Okay. I was happy about it. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to see how the the causeway is, is constructed yeah. as, as, as a principle, how mm -hmm. it is done. Mm -hmm. But then also I wanted to see how I'm going to act in it with yeah. regard to the electrical. Yes. How do you will project yes. all these so green lines? It was a huge coordination mm -hmm. between us, part mm -hmm. MPW yeah. and them, with, with MEW, yeah. Ministry of Electricity, mm -hmm. distribution department and uh, substations. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now when you drive on the causeway, you don't see anything Absolutely. except lights, yeah. but what you don't see is the ones inside the girders. Yeah, exactly. okay, yeah. There are, I think, six, plus eight, eight substations inside, mm -hmm. plus two substations in the two islands, one in the north, one yeah, in the south. Yeah. That one, with the assistance of Minister of Liberty, will allow you to provide the power, all the bridge, mm -hmm. without losing the, we call it a voltage drop. Yeah, okay. yeah voltage yeah. drop, yeah, it comes. Uh, all the, and even if you f lose a feeder, you still have another feeder. Another uh, feeder. Even if yeah. you lose a third one. Uh -huh. it, it, it so there is uh, <coughs> backup all, yeah, all the time. Be because you, it's not only a designer issue here. It's yeah. a national security okay. and uh, operations and issue. Yes. It was a full coordination, mm -hmm. thankful to the MEW actually mm -hmm. for that. So it's like well, uh, uh, international standards also. Uh, yes. In, in Taking in consideration Kuwait regulations. Ah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so definitely, you know, we don't see it. Uh, uh, and it is, it yeah. is, we cannot see, like he said, you have three backups plans yeah. for yeah, anything. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. If yes. something happens, you know, God forbid, any accidents, any blast, you know, you know, you'll always have a cable, you know. Yeah, working. even if you have a failure in the yeah. one cable from the Shuwaiq, yeah. yes. you still have another one from the Sobia area. Uh-huh. Yeah. So well. that, that, that's really a big project. Yeah. So e even if you want to do maintenance mm. to that, that, that was nice coordination to have access below with the ladders to go in for easy removal mm -hmm. of the equipment. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So tell us about the main, I know it's a huge project, yeah. uh, stuff, but definitely, you know, these big mega projects, you know, always come with problems. You know, sometimes you encounter problems. Or did it go smoothly just like that? Look, nothing goes smooth on that yeah, one, absolutely. but the issue is, w was in how to construct things mm. and, ha uh, and, and make it, and make it happen, actually. Yeah. No, there was a huge coordination between MPW part and the contractor mm -hmm. with, with us also. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is, they, they, they decided to go for 40-meter uh, girders, which imagine the entire 40-meter road yes. oh. was transferred through barges to be lifted whenever they do the, the, the piles, mm -hmm. then they fix that one. So based on the soil down and when they do yeah. the, the piles, yeah. then they shift that one. Okay. And that was a huge coordination. Huge, yeah. nice. the, 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 ju the June area. Yeah, June area is not is, is, stable yeah, sometimes. Is, 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 and it was a huge co uh, done by the so designer. they had to dig a lot to make, you know, huge I am not an, a civil engineer, but <laughs> yeah. I saw it actually. Yeah. It was an experience on, on that one. I saw it happening. And yes, it's a huge casting down. I don't oh. know how they go deep. I think it's maybe 40 meters down. Oh. It's a huge meters. one. 40 meters. Yes. yes. Yeah. And I even the one uh, where you see that arch. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. That's about 400 meters span. So that the, 
the ships can go on the boats. Uh, below, mm -hmm. yeah. That was a huge coordination in that area, actually. Okay. Even backfilling to make the two islands. That yes. Was, uh, yes. Uh, you have to fill it with the, uh, dust, uh, with the sand. Sand, sand, rocks, and these rocks, things. Sand. Yes. And yeah. But it's a shallow area somehow. It is not. It is. It is shallow, but not shallow that shallow. Yeah, yeah it's muddy. Okay, muddy. With, okay, the causeway is two segments. One going from Shuwaikh to Sabia. Yeah. The one going to sh from Shuwaikh to Doha. That yeah. one. The last four uh, four kilometers. It's about twelve kilometers. Yeah. I think that was uh, when, from Shuwaikh yeah, to Doha. To Doha. Yeah. Yeah. That that is yeah that is more shallower. Yes. Till yeah. you reach the port, mm -hmm. but yeah. it is shallow. It is shallow, yeah. but even uh, being shallow, Amal, it doesn't mean it's good because you know no, you have uh, muddy and unstable yeah. yes. ground. That makes it really a nightmare. I think this is the soil engineers can yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I saw it, which is yeah. actually I'm, I'm thankful to my company for having me that one. Well, we're, I'm thankful that we have two engineers who's talking <laughs> about all of that and actually, know everything actually, about uh, it. Actually, <laughs> when I was drinking coffee outside, I saw Mr. Farid coming. Yes. And I was happy because. <laughs> Yeah, you would understand what you, what you say. Yeah, Engineers it, it, really it, it, do it, understand it, each other. And this honest, is yes. a plus side for uh, both of them. Thank you. Thank you thank very you, much. Thank you, uh, I know uh, that we are proud of uh, my colleague Farid because he is always up I'm to date with it. <laughs> thank you. And uh, I know, uh, Engineer Mohammed, you have said uh, that that project, the uh, Jabber Causeway, was really a one in a lifetime yes. uh, mm -hmm. experience. But how about? What you've done, other projects, I know it's not like 30 something years. No, upon I, I, your I, I would talk about the last five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay when I am in Dar es Yes. Uh, we did the uh, Al Khiran Mall, oh. which is currently oh, being yeah. co un under construction. Under construction, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. about, by the way, it's almost, I will mention names if you don't mind. Yes. It's almost three times the size of the boulevard. Whoa. Oh. In length. Wow, One time I parked my car on the other side and walking, and I regretted. I needed to <laughs> go back, and it's, it, okay. was, it was July, actually. Wow. Uh, this is one. Uh, we have the KOC housing. We had three sectors in KOC. Yes. Then we have the paid campus. It is completed design, mm -hmm. and uh, it's in Jahra. Uh, nice. It's going to be tendered. And uh, we have, uh, or I, I participated in one of the most difficult projects in my life, which is the, the upgrade of the second and third ring road with Damascus Street. Okay. okay. We recently finished it. We teamed up with uh, a Turkish uh, road, design, mm -hmm. uh, road designer, Priyabi. Company? Yeah. Uh, Priyabi. Yeah. And uh, I think it will be one of a kind. You will be going from the Gulf Road all the way to Jahra, even if you are on second ring road or third ring road or Damascus Street. Yes. Without any stop. But no traffics, no nothing, lights, nothing, nothing. Nothing at all. But while construction, I think it will be a huge difficult. Why I said it is difficult for yeah, me as yeah, an electrical yeah, engineer. Yes. You said it's the most difficult yes. project yes. you've ever seen. Because your... we are upgrading okay. yeah. that, those. There is all the streets. Yeah. Old streets with old exist not all it's existing network. Okay. okay. Those existing network, whether you it's a huge water, them. you don't want no. You have to disturb them. Okay. But you have to disturb them without stopping, stopping the whole, that thing. The whole uh, unit. And uh, yeah. to be honest, uh, all the ministries, they helped us. Okay. And like uh, the transmission department of MEW, distribution mm -hmm. department of MEW, MOC, Minister of Interior, mm -hmm. uh, of course, PART and MPW. Mm -hmm. To be honest, that was the most difficult. We've just finished it, it's going to be tendered. Mm -hmm. But it's really, it was difficult two years in, or two and a half years of our time. Well, I, I think making something from out of nothing, like a new project, it's better than reconstruction an old project. Don't you think so? Yes. So this is, we had a project which is called the Khiran Road. It's between mm -hmm. Khiran and Wafra. Yes. That's on a plane. That was not difficult to design. Uh -huh. Uh, it, it, it takes its time, normal time Absolutely. to design. Yeah. But this one, you have to consider every single cable, every single Absolutely. water pipe, because I'm yeah. an infra engineer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have great uh, 
dry and wet utilities. We call them dry utilities and wet utilities. Okay. And we have a great roads engineers in our company. And we did massive coordination to achieve that. What you don't see is we, when it happens, you will not see what's in the ground. Absolutely. But to make it happen, you have to know what is in the ground. Absolutely. Yeah. Engineer uh, Rasham, you know, a lot of people think uh, <coughs> about, uh, they don't know, especially youngsters, <coughs> what's underneath this road. You yes. know, you are, you know, driving your car on. Yes. You know, there are handshaking rooms, you have man, main holes. Man holes, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I want to really to give an idea for. <laughs> Our, our, you know, viewers and some of them really average or maybe they have, maybe they think it's only main hall for sewage and, you know, waste water treatment, yes. for example. Okay. But uh, they, they know it's like beyond that. Of course. Well, whenever we have a road, yeah. the first thing we think, think about, about, we call it utilities corridors. Uh -huh. okay. Every service must have its own dedicated corridor to run. Uh -huh. okay. So it's not like a haphazard thing. Uh -huh. You can't even like bring an MOC thing with a store motor. No, you have to think about it carefully. Absolutely. That one in 2016, 2017, we discussed with all authorities mm -hmm. and we d agreed on each one where it will go. Mm -hmm. So that's a already, that was a project we had in 2016, 2017 and it's done. We were teaming with Dar al Handasa, yeah. and uh, we did that. And uh, all authorities, whenever we have, let's say you have a 16 meter corridor, okay. or you have a 13 meter corridor, or we know where to put everyone. Unless there is a specific item for a reason, then yeah, those two authorities will coordinate together. Yes, but yes, you will have MOC, you have street lighting, uh, transmission lines, uh, water, storm water. Nobody clashes with others. Absolutely. No. Wow. They are all parallel. Parallel, uh, but when they cross, they, they can be up, up and down. I, re uh, and I remember locations. we had a fiber optic uh, uh, ring network, yes. you know, came across uh, uh, an oil pipe. So we had to dig three meters down. Yeah. Yeah. Knee. Yeah. So Some this, you know, can uh, be. This happens. Yeah, yeah it happens. Yeah. Uh, Amal, this is, you know, believe it or not, if we have a dissect uh, diagram and you see the, the amount of cables and uh, amount of you know, handshaking rooms underneath the road, you'll be amazed. Yes. In, in, in two locations, in the second ring road and third ring road, we had to introduce tunnels. We call them cable gallery and mm -hmm. pipes gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, it was not easy to, okay, on, on, on the drawing, you can, we can say, oh, I need here. Yes. But on rea reality, you, reality. Can, you can't build it. Absolutely. So we had to coordinate layers. Oh, okay. layers above. And it was not easy because in one side you cannot do it. So, uh, but you still need to pass those so cables, yeah. mm -hmm. and you don't want transmission lines mm -hmm. yeah. in that area. It's, it's a resi the residential area. So mm -hmm. we managed that, and well. it's approved. Well, I think I That's think the, these uh, when someone would say an engineer with engineer something so you can feel uh, easy going and as you said Absolutely. the streets the it's uh, job way solving. it's it's just not uh, just Emma. problem solving something that we cannot touch or see mm -hmm. by hands and eyes and you managed to give it and do it thank you a lot Shukran. engineer basam mohammed for uh, being here and for giving us all of that information thank as well as getting all those projects done to see it, Farid. Well, absolutely. Uh, it's really an honor Thank to have uh, a senior engineer like you and a uh, big uh, you know, expert in, 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 in that area. Thank you very much, Shukran. Engineer. Thank Sam. you. And we are honored to have you here with us. Thank you, Mansari. Thank you. Man, I, I say Mansari. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Uh, absolutely, uh, we will have a break, dear viewers, and after that, definitely we have another segment, and this time about the space. <laughs>